Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calibrate your screen on a MacBook device. So this should be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, calibrating your monitor will affect things such as how much ambient light is in your room, as well as the angle and the age of the display. So when you're factoring in these different factors, you can adjust your display using the Calibrator Assistant Utility. And we're going to go ahead and start by opening up System Preferences down in our dock. So go ahead and left click on that. Select where it says Displays. And then you want to go select the Color tab. And then select the Calibrate button when you're selecting your display profile. You probably only have one listed in here and you want to go select the Calibrate button. So this will walk you through the steps on how to adjust your display and then we'll create a calibrated color profile for you. And this should be pretty straightforward guys, so you can see display calibration involves several steps. Adjusting the display brightness and contrast, determining display's native luminous response curve, choosing a desired response curve gamma, and choosing a desired white point. Go ahead and select continue. It says before you begin calibration, you should make some initial adjustments to the brightness and contrast controls of your display. So first set the contrast control to the highest setting, and then we're going to set the brightness control using the image on the right as a guide. We're going to increase the brightness until the center oval is barely visible. Tap this icon on your keyboard, and then select continue. Now we're going to select a target white point, so you can go ahead and adjust this on the screen. Otherwise, we're going to just use our native white point option. Going to select continue again. For administrator options, if you want to allow this profile to be used as a default profile for other users on this computer, you can go ahead and check mark that box in there and select continue. You want to name this something specific? You can. If you want to name it so if you have different profiles set up, you can. And you're going to select continue. And then you will have to enter in your computer password to save that. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, as always, thank you for watching. I hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.